Hey guys, Josh here. This is my absolute first YouTube video, so I have no idea how it's going to go. Never posted one before. I see a lot of people on YouTube. Um, normal people are doing it, and I feel like I'm a pretty normal guy. So here's a little quick introduction. I am addicted to bird photography. I've been doing it for about seven, maybe eight years now. Um, I'm not perfect. I have so much room to improve, but I'm, I've learned a lot of things along the way. Um, so what I want to do with this YouTube channel is I want to help you. Uh, I, this isn't about me. This isn't about my images. It's about you and how we can help you get a little better. How we can make your Instagram pop a little more. How we can make your Facebook images look better. And if your goal is to print that uh, 40 inch canvas above your couch in the living room, uh, let's do what we can to help make that better. Uh, none of the advice that I'm going to give you is original. Uh, it just comes from experience. It comes from shooting with other people in the field. Uh, it comes from messing up a lot, getting a lot of images that I just didn't like, and I got frustrated with myself and I wanted to get better. Um, so look, if you're like me in the sense that you're just, you're just not really ever satisfied uh, and you just want to get a little better, a little better, a little better, maybe there's something here for you. So my challenge is watch it. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you're coming over from Instagram, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for following me for all these years. I appreciate all that you guys have done. Um, I'm going to just peel the curtain back and show you how the magic is made a little bit. Uh, let me reiterate. I'm not a professional videographer. I went out and bought a mirrorless camera. I'm shooting on a Nikon Z6 II. And, you know, I, it seems so far that it makes pretty good videos. I'm going to be upgrading as the time goes along. I'm going to try to get better and better. I'm going to try to learn video programs. I know nothing about them. Uh, so this first few said it might be a train wreck, but I promise you, uh, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to listen to you and I'm going to give you uh, the opportunity to get a little bit better. And I'm hoping that you'll give me the feedback um, that I need to help make things better for you guys. So thanks. Uh, if you aren't following me already on Instagram, it's at Bayou underscore Josh. Um, check it out. That's what I do is wildlife and bird photography. And you'll get a glimpse of the type of stuff that I'll be showing over the next, um, hopefully for a long, long time. Here's my next challenge to you guys. I don't want to just be editing my pictures. I hope that you will send me your pictures. So leave a message in the comments and uh, let's connect. Let's connect. I, I can send you an email. You can respond to me. Give me permission to edit the pictures in this video and I'll return it back to you. I have no credit over those images. And that's it, guys. That's it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I think you're supposed to subscribe. People always point to something. I don't even know how to put anything in the video yet. But uh, subscribe, uh, like if you like. And is there a way to share? I don't know. I don't, this is my first YouTube video. I don't know. But I appreciate it. So I'm going to get to editing and let's see what we come up with today. <laughs>
kind of the dark side of the moon over here. And this circle right there, that's not the sun. That's just a bokeh ball that was generated off of a moving van or something that was uh, across the parking lot. So, you know, the bigger image is this big van back there, which now that I've shown you that, you can probably see it a little bit. And that was just some glare off of his window. But it looks pretty dang cool, so we're going to roll with it. Uh, so look, first things first, let's get into making this thing look cool. I love it when an image like this is real golden looking. So I'm going to go about 15,000 on the temperature. And I'm going to print... Uh, let's bring those greens down just a little bit, put a little bit of green tint in it, not too much. And there we go, negative three. And exposure, I'm going to go ahead and drop it just a little bit to uh, accentuate those darker areas. Uh, contrast, I'm not a huge contrast guy, but in this situation I'm going to start it in the middle and move down to shadows and pull a little bit out and see what happens as I add contrast and pull down shadows. I'm going to do it equally. And that's about right. So, so far you can see it was just a kind of a bluish, you know, light gold image to now a more golden and dark image. Uh, so here's my favorite way to add contrast and that's the whites and the blacks. So here's a quick principle number one when it comes to editing photos. Something that's front lit and you want to get it to pop away from the screen a little bit, I typically go about plus 30 on the whites and half of that on the blacks, which would be about you know, minus 15 and plus 30 on the whites. However, on this one, I kind of want to flip it a little bit because it's backlit. I want to go plus 15 on the whites and minus 30 on the blacks to give it a little more contrast. Um, and the only reason I'm doing that is because there's no front sun hitting it. All right, now let's back up to the highlights. I saved that one for last because I wanted to see what was going to happen with the whites and, and blacks as I was adjusting that. Um, I'm paying attention to this little piece of hair right there on the cattail. And if I blow it up too much, put the highlights in, I'm just going to make this big golden blob. If I pull it down too much, it kind of flattens the image. So I'm going to shoot for about minus 20 right there. And it still highlights the little hairs on that cattail. All right, uh, I'm not going to add any texture to it. It just makes it look silly in my opinion. If I had too much clarity, it just takes away from the effect of the image in my opinion. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull a little bit of clarity out. Now I've got to be careful when I'm pulling clarity out. It starts softening even the light around uh, some of the stuff there. So I'm going to go about negative 18 and that should be good. Now dehaze is a cool mood slider. Um, I can brighten up dehaze or I can darken it down all the way. Uh, I'm going to go somewhere in between that. I'm going to go about plus 15 on the dehaze and it kind of gives it an overall darker look. So once again, there's the before, there's the after, and we're going to keep going. Let's add just a little bit of saturation. I'm going to go to plus 10. It just brought those, uh, brought those gold tones up down at the bottom. And vibrance, we can... Uh, I think we're okay with Vibrance. We're not going to mess with it. Uh, highlights, it really doesn't need a lot when it comes to the tone curve. Uh, but what I am going to do is pull the highlight down a little bit, add just a little bit of lights, um, take the darks down a hair, bring the shadows down a hair, and once again, just gives it a little more of a, a contrasty look. All right, we got a pretty cool image so far. Let's keep rolling down. I'm not going to mess with the individual saturation or luminance. Uh, this was shot at ISO 72 at 1 800th of a second. So uh, here, let's zoom in. There's no noise in this image. It looks pretty dang good. Alrighty. Uh, so far I'm liking this. I'm liking it a lot. No need to sharpen it. Uh, I do like to play with the lens profile, make sure that the Nikon selected, and it doesn't really do anything for this one but brighten up the edges. Okay, here we go. One of my favorite sliders in all of the Lightroom um, collection here for color and that is the blue primary saturation. Alright guys leave it in the comments if you know why the hell this works like this but if you slide blue saturation up and down it does crazy stuff to the gold colors as well. Um, so when I pulled that blue saturation up it made that gold pop. Why does it do that? I don't know but I love it. So um, we're gonna stick with it.
All right, so there we go. There's our first overall kind of feel to it. And there's the before, there's the after. I love that real gold look. It makes it feel like it's definitely golden hour outside. All right, so here's a preference, okay? I, I want you to be able to tell just a little bit that that's a song sparrow. But I don't want to do that by adjusting the shadows up because it kind of pulls the shadows out of other spots in the image out here as well and kind of flattens the image just a little bit. I want to keep those, you know, those dark contrasty tones in the image. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the radial filter. I'm just going to draw a small circle over the bird and I'm going to make sure I reset here and I'm just over the bird. You can hit this show selected mask down here and it shows you what you're, you're highlighting. All right, now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to the range mask tool and I'm going to click just luminance and then I'm going to the right side of the change luminance range. I'm going to hold down the alt button and I'm going to start sliding it and you'll see that it's masking just the sparrow and whatever else is in that circle. So that's the only thing I'm going to be adjusting. And when it comes to smoothness, there's not a lot of smoothness I need to worry about in this situation. I like it about right there. Now, as I go up and I, let me zoom in for you guys to see this. As I go in and start adjusting the shadows, you'll see that the shadows go up on the bird. I can even raise the exposure a little bit if I want. There's a couple little spots you'll have, I'll have to clean up there. And um, you know, I get to just play with it on a very localized level. And all it's messing with is just that bird. So to me, that's pretty dang cool. Um, you can brighten up the bird. You can see what it is a little bit. And there you go. That's my first YouTube video edit for Lightroom. Um, if you've come over from Instagram, thank you so much. I appreciate all that you guys have done over the last uh, several years I've been on Instagram. I've met a lot of cool people. And I, I hope you come take a look over here at the YouTube channel and give me some feedback here. Uh, I'm going to post this one up on Instagram for you guys to see. And just give me your honest feedback. Here's the last thing. I said at the beginning of the video, and I'll say it again, I don't want to bore you with just my images. I want you to be invested in this as well. So you'll see my email up in the profile. Send me an email, send me a message, direct message me on Instagram at buyu underscore Josh. If you have an image that you'd like to see edited and see how I would approach the edit, uh, send it my way. Let's take a look at it. We'll run it through the system. We'll make a video about it, and we'll share it for the world to see. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button uh, and definitely hit the like. Uh, likes I hear are pretty important. If there's a way to share this thing, heck, let everybody in the world know that I exist. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. All right, guys, this is the beginning of a long journey. Let's, let's, uh, let's edit some more pictures. Have a good night, guys.